what you would do if you won the lottery. There are certainly many good options, like investing in real estate, drive your childhood dream car. But today we present 10 Stupid Lottery Winners Vivian Nicholson, 152,319 pounds. In 1961, Vivian's husband won the football lottery, so she felt free to spend, spend, spend. While spending her husband's winnings on haute couture, Vivian distanced herself from her friends and family. When Vivian's husband was murdered in a vehicle accident, she fell even further into its spending hole. She ultimately lost everything and was cut off from her family and friends. Jose Antonio Cuatox $750,000 When Jose won the Georgia Lottery, he was already residing in the U.S. illegally. He requested Eric Cervantes, his boss, to make the money claim on his behalf. Mr. Cuatox, Mr. Cervantes' employer, was taken to court when Mr. Cervantes claimed the funds for himself. The majority of the money was ultimately spent on attorney costs and punitive damages after a number of legal challenges. Amanda Clayton won million dollars. The neighborhood knew Amanda Clayton as a drug addict and a degenerate. Her lot of victory simply served to stoke the flames. Clayton later became a billionaire, yet he was still arrested for receiving welfare payments. She committed welfare fraud and was sentenced to time in prison and penalties before passing away from a drug overdose. Denise Rossi won $1.3 million. Denise Rossi made the decision to separate from her husband and keep the lottery earnings after she won the California lottery. Two years later, the ex-husband discovered a motive for her departure and chose to file a lawsuit against Denise for failing to reveal her divorce settlement proceeds. Willie Hurt, $3.1 million Willie Hurt, a family guy and well-liked local, won the lottery in Michigan in 1989. He spent a sizable chunk of his money on a crack cocaine addiction during the following two years. As a result, he got divorced and lost custody of his kids. Most of what was left of his money was spent on the divorce. After going broke, Mr. Hurt was found guilty of killing his girlfriend while using drugs and alcohol. Evelyn Adams, $5,400,000. Over the span of two years, this fortunate New Jersey woman won the lotto twice, totaling $5.44 million. She may have been feeling lucky when she made the decision to take the prizes to the Atlantic City casinos. She gambled most of it away. So to say the least, her luck did not hold, and she now lives in a trailer park. Michael Carroll, 9.7 million British pounds. Michael Carroll, the self-described king of chains, won the grand prize in the British National Lottery in 2002. He wasted all of his money on drugs, whores, and backyard demolition derbies over the course of five years. Mr. Carroll was unable to reclaim his previous position as a garbage guy, therefore he is now employed at a biscuit factory. Callie Rogers, 10.9 million British pounds. Callie Rogers, at 16 years old, won the UK Lotto in 2003. Her inexperience with money management may have contributed to her young age. Callie underwent extensive cosmetic surgery, acquired many homes in one transaction, and went on lavish trips. But in the end, she and her two children whom she had rescued from a cheating boyfriend moved back in with their mother. William Post, $16 million. After getting his first yearly payment, William had racked up $500,000 in debt in just three months. Family members emerged from hiding to claim a cut of the gains when he purchased a restaurant and an airplane, including an ex-girlfriend who successfully sued him for a share. Even his brother attempted to inherit the money by hiring a hitman to assassinate William, but was unsuccessful. After taking a shot at a bill collector, 
Mr. Post became $1 million in debt within a year and served time in jail. Americo Lopez, $24 million. Americo Lopez made the decision to retire from work and live the good life after winning a tidy $24 million. Mr. Lopez neglected to explain that he shared the winning lottery tickets with five other co-workers. His former co-workers sued him in court and they won their deserved compensation. 20 million of the games had to be forfeited by Mr. Lopez, along with court costs. Liking and subscribing to our channel is like winning the lottery for us. Subscribe to us for more quality content.